Hey guys, welcome back to another cash stuffing video. Today is going to be a little bit different in the sense that I'm going to be paying myself back for transactions that I did over the last week. Um, and what I mean by that is taking them from my sinking funds and putting them in my deposit envelope to take to the bank this week. I also did get my PVC binder. This is just from Amazon. It came in a three pack. It came with a purple and a holographic one and these looked best in the pink. This is very, I don't know if you've ever watched cash stuffing envelopes but this is very bendable flexible like it it's one of those things that if you left it in the car it would just melt not melt but it would just kind of slump over um because of the sun it's super super bendy but these ones are a lot more they're thicker they're not as pliable but they do retain their shape so if i like accidentally bend this in in my purse or anything it does hold its shape so that's kind of cool but these are not <laughs> they're not like that and most of this size one is not like that this is the a6 version this is the a7 so uh, a size like this would be an a5 so just to kind of show you the comparison between the three sizes if you're looking on amazon very inexpensive for three of them i think it was 13 bucks i'll link it below so if you've watched my previous cash stuffing envelopes, um, you've seen that, or my videos on it, you've seen that I'm doing, I just got these envelopes for each of my variable spending expenses, my cash envelope system, if you will, it coincides. This is where I keep my monthly budgeted amount and this is where I keep my weekly amount. This is also linked below. Um, and let's just go ahead and stuff some envelopes and then I will show you how I take the sinking funds and how I have it set up in my iPad. So if you've never seen my digital budget, I did have this printed out at one time too. Um, this is my monthly total that I budget for each of these categories and I split it up over four weeks so that I can use a weekly amount and try and stick to a budget. So far it's working very well. So let's see what we have left in our envelopes. I'm gonna take this out for right now so you guys can see and move this. So groceries, nothing. You, you'd be able to see the money on this side because it's clear, eating out, nothing, household, nothing, gas, nothing, miscellaneous, nothing. We do have a little bit left in the fun envelope. I did roll this over and I do can plan to continue to roll it over since we're headed into summer. The girls only have about a month left of school, which I'm so excited for. And so I'm hoping we can do some fun stuff over the summer. So we have $42 left in our fun envelope. So we will leave that for this coming week. The beauty envelope, I only stuff once per month and I am rolling it over. We do have some money left there. So Andres just got a haircut. So we have $60 left. So that's the $50 that I budget for the month plus $10 left over from last month, which is great. The beauty category does anything beauty. So I don't wear makeup a ton, but if I needed makeup, I would get that. Um, but I do use it for my eyebrow threading and um, pedicures, which I have not done. And then for Andres's haircuts, the girls do not get their haircut nor do I get our hair cut frequently enough to really budget that into a category that would be more like a an annual or semi-annual thing and actually the last haircuts that they all got I did at home I um, straightened all of their hair and I trimmed all of them except Everly Everly hasn't had a haircut sh since she turned one but uh, the three bigger girls, I trimmed them all at home. So, and I may do that again with the middle girls because they already need another trim. So, still have money in the beauty category. I don't have anything to deposit. And then I do have some coins. So I will get my Hello Kitty little bank here. She's so cute. Very tiny though. I was thinking as much as I love the Hello Kitty, I was thinking about maybe getting one that counts for you or just a little bit bigger of a jar. Maybe letting one of the girls use these, be, this one because it, yeah, it's very little. And like I said, I can see the coins. They, I just have maybe like an inch before I fill it up. So I'll be emptying her soon. Okay, so coins is empty. I don't have anything in this back pouch, but a gift card section for that would be awesome. So let's go ahead and stuff. So here are here is the monthly amount that I stuff for groceries. I divided over four, so $150 per week. This is going to be a little bit different this week because I did spend 
$300 last week on groceries because I needed to stock up on fridge stuff. So I do not plan on grocery shopping this week. So what I'm going to do is actually just set the 150. So again, if you watched my um, last cut, uh, cash stuffing video, you saw that I um, did separate these already by week. So they're from five to five is one week. It should be $150. And then from five to five should be another 150. It just makes it easier versus counting it out. Um, what I actually think I'm going to do is, uh, no, yeah, I was originally going to go ahead and pull out 300 and just carry whatever is left over to next week, but I seriously should not need groceries at all this week, at all. We were like completely stocked up on stuff, even fresh fruit. If I run out of berries and grapes and stuff like that, we have plenty of apples, oranges, bananas, and things to get us through this week. So I'm not going to pull that and I'm just going to set the grocery money aside because like I said, I spent the entire 150 last week and uh, plus an extra 150. So this is already going to go back into the bank <laughs> because I did use the 150 that I had in here plus the 150 on my card. So groceries is set for the week. Eating out, uh, we get $100 per month, so $25 for the week. So there is my 20 and my five, which works out very well. And then I will take this 25 and stuff it in my eating out, which I actually have found has worked out well. At first I was thinking that wasn't going to work for us because whenever we do eat out, we eat out more than that, but it has worked out fine because we really haven't been eating out. The household also gets 100, so we're going to do $25 for the week. I did buy some stuff from Costco, and like I said, I'll show you how I'm paying myself back the Costco amount here in just a little while. So household 25. And so for gas, we're doing 240, so it's $60 per week. So 320 is there. That seemed to work out well for us this past week. And actually both of the cars are still pretty good on gas. So we might even get to roll this over a little bit. Gas is something that I probably will continue to roll over, especially as summer comes. We tend to do more things. Miscellaneous is $200. So it should be 50 there. And I do smaller bills so that if I need to pay myself back, I can. So th uh, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. I just realized I haven't had to count any money <laughs> so far because everything has been just like $25. Uh, fun gets $25 a week, $100 for the month. So same thing. We'll do uh, two tens and a five for that one. And then, like I said, uh, typically if I have some money left over in groceries, eating out, miscellaneous, household, I will roll it over to my Costco envelope or wherever I want to put it. But fun is a good one to continue to roll over. So I will do that. So we have 10, 20, 25 there. And then, so we should have a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, and 67 dollars which is great if eventually this gets too full i'll probably roll it over into my summer activity sinking fund and pay myself back if i need to and then beauty gets stuffed at the beginning of the month with 50 dollars, and so we're not stuffing any of that so cash envelopes are done for the week which is great let me double check this is 150 so 50 70 90 110 130 140 45 and 150 so like i said i will just go ahead and pay myself that back these will get put away until next week. Now, let's see how we do the monthly expenses. So let me turn this so you can see it a little bit better. So I kind of showed you already paying myself back with the Father's Day sinking fund, and that worked out nicely. What I did is we ended up spending about $400 at Costco, um, but that included stuff that I was paying for for my family. So by the time everyone paid me back and I deducted the things that had separate categories, I only needed to pull $171 from my Costco sinking fund. So what we are going to do is go to the Costco sinking fund. I need $171 from that. 
So in Costco, we have $184 here. So I'm gonna do 171. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 171. should leave us with $13. So 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13, which is great. I do have this part of the sinking fund. When I do, when I stuff my sinking funds, I do have an amount that I give per month, whatever it is. That particular month, this last month was $50. And then what I had been doing is whenever I have extra in my cash envelopes, putting extra into it. My next plan is not to go to Costco until later in the summer. I think we are pretty good on snacks and stuff like that. So I'm shooting for around July. So we'll see. Hopefully I have a little bit in the budget by then. So sh this should be $171. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 171. So that will sit here and we'll also go to the bank and this one is done. Next is uh, car maintenance. So we did get new wiper blades for both of the cars. And so that was $40 from the car maintenance fund. Now I may have to switch out some bills because I clearly only have two fifties in the car maintenance fund. So let's see what we're supposed to have. So minus 40, so we should have $60. So what I can do is trade some of my bills. So I'm gonna swap this 50 for 220s and a 10, and I'm gonna take $40. So $40 to pay myself back, and then $60 is left in the car maintenance sinking fund. So that's awesome, that's done. Next um, is clothing. Now clothing doesn't have $55 in it. So what I'm going to do is take what it has. It has um, 50, so 20, 40, 45, and $50. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to leave this sinking fund negative. Now, I did see a couple of comments saying, you know, uh, if you have to, if you're spending over, you have to like move your budget and move your sinking funds and stuff like that, then you should reevaluate your actual total. Now this in particular, I could have taken this extra $5 from my Costco fund because my Costco fund is not just groceries, it's anything I get from Costco. I could have, but I didn't because I did spend $55 on the clothing. So I would rather have a negative $5 balance and become positive when I stuff this next month or for my next paycheck then try and take it from somewhere else and cheat myself out of rearranging my budget and stuff like that. Um, I already knew the girls needed clothing. I was going to have to probably, like I'll probably take it from my um, weekly miscellaneous budget and stuff when I continue to buy them clothes because the clothing sinking fund is new. So what I would do in the past, sorry, I felt a little froggy, so I had to clear my throat. What I would do in the past is I would just take it from whatever we had left over in our budget. I never had a savings fund for clothing, only back to school uniforms because those are pretty pricey for us, but never clothing. So because this was new, I knew I was going to have to try and figure out how to start building it up. So once once I get them summer clothes, I will be able to build it up for winter and then for summer again and stuff like that. So I don't feel like it's cheating myself to make it negative, especially since it's only $5. But, you know, if you do, that's okay. You definitely can do it however you want. So I'm going to take 20, 40, 45, 50 from here and put it in my deposit envelope. And then clothing is empty right now. And like I said, negative $5 for the next time that I stuff it, but this one I'm going to consider paid. I do also have a checking account cushion for things like this, so I could definitely take the extra $5 from my checking account cushion and it would it would work out perfectly fine in my eyes. Okay, next up is medical. 
So medical is a new one as well. I did get the girls some kids masks, uh, just the disposable ones, and they were $8. So again, I have $60 in my medical envelope. So after the $8, I should have 52. So what I'm actually going to do is trade out some of these bills. I don't have enough ones, so I'm going to see if I have ones in here in my cash emergency. One, two, three, four, five. Typically, I would do this in a, like a sinking fund update video <laughs> and do that for you guys, but I need to switch it right now, so that's okay. We will work with what we have. So I switched out uh, $5 for my cash envelope in one so that I could change out these bills. So I'm going to have $52 left in this one. So we'll take a 50 and two ones and I will trade the 60. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I had $60 in my medical envelope. I'm going to what I'm already depositing pay myself the $60, but then I'm gonna take the change that is due in medical, which is 52. So I will put that in my medical envelope and the kids' masks are paid, which is great. And this is what I have the medical for um, because I've mentioned before several times we do have insurance, we have a flex account. So this is more for just like over the counter type stuff. All right, next up is summer, which is back here. So for summer activities, we bought a kite at Costco, which was $15. So we should have $85 left. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I have five twenties, which is $100. So from my deposit stack, I'm going to keep the 80 and switch a 20 and take my change, which is the five. So $15 will go in here. So I should have 20, 40, 60, 85 left in summer activities. And that makes us all paid up. This is the money that I will be taking back to the bank. And then I will continue if we have anything else from the sinking funds for the remainder of my pay period. So this actually says pay period month is May. Um, this happened on 424 because my pay periods run from the 22nd of one month to the 21st uh, of the next month. So this is my May, my May technically my paycheck. So if anything else comes up, I will continue to add to this. And then we should have a total of all of these amounts in this pile right here. So let me double check that for you guys. So 171 plus 40 plus 55 plus eight plus 15. So we should have $289. Let me fix these bills. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy-five. Eighty-one, two, three, four. And that is correct because I forgot to take away the negative five dollars that I'm in the clothing. So perfect, yay! And then this is the money. Still should be one hundred and fifty dollars. So fifty-one, twenty, forty-five, and fifty. This is the money paying myself back for the groceries and then this is from sinking funds. So I will take that money to the bank this week and get a deposit and pay it back towards my card. And yeah, that was me paying myself back for my sinking funds and stuffing my cash envelopes for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or anything, leave them down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.